Welcome to the Zero to Awesome Kitchen. Today, we're gonna to be doing a special little recipe. A recipe for a one-person brake bleeding system. My puppy just fell over. Now you may be asking yourself, Alan, why are we building a brake bleeder today? The answer is simple. There's one of me, and usually it takes two people to bleed brakes. One to press the pedal, and one to turn the little bleeder valve. Hmm, my puppy's under the car now. Anyways, since there's one of me, I need something I can use to do it myself. So we're gonna make a pressurized system that hooks up to the brake fluid reservoir and pushes our brake fluid out through the drums. The design of our brake bleeder is actually pretty simple. What we're going to do is build something that applies pressure to the brake master cylinder to force brake fluid through the system so no one needs to pump the pedal and no one needs to constantly open and close the bleeder valve. My first ingredient in the recipe is something to build that pressure with and for that we use a normal off-the-shelf weed sprayer. Other ingredients include tubing to run my brake fluid through, hose clamps to keep my brake fluid in the tubing, some fittings and hose barbs that actually fit my tubing. And actually I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I don't wanna to have to pump this up all the time. I got some tire valves, which I'll add to this, so I can fill it up with an air compressor or a bike pump or anything besides hand pumping. Last but not least, we need a way to attach this whole system to our brake fluid reservoir. I don't want to drill a hole in my brake fluid reservoir and I don't want to drill a hole in the cap to my brake fluid reservoir. What I did is I took my original brake fluid reservoir cap, brought it to the hardware store, and just found a piece of PVC plumbing cap that is the same diameter, same thread, and a hose barb adapter so I can run my hose into this, tighten it down on my brake fluid reservoir, and create a nice pressurized seal without putting any holes in my car. Now that we have the ingredients, we're gonna need to get our utensils out. I'm going to need an adjustable wrench and a box cutter, some drill bits, a drill, and a couple of screwdrivers, flathead and Phillips head, never hurt anybody. Now that we have our ingredients, let's get to work. First thing I want to do is install my valve stem into my weed sprayer. To do that, I'm just going to drill a hole right in the side, thread this bad boy in. stems in. Next step is to further void the warranty. By removing the sprayer under the hose, I can use my hose clamps and my wire barb to extend this as long as I want. So I don't have to tuck this away anywhere under the hood, I can leave it on the ground, pressurize it, and just run my hose up to the master cylinder. Presto, my hose is extended. Next, we're gonna drill into our replacement reservoir cap. And it's kinda unsafe to hold this in your hand while drilling, so just break out your kitchen vise. I also use it to juice fruits. secret ingredient for a little extra flavor, Teflon tape. Back where that belongs, 
all that's left now, I'm gonna cut my hose down to a reasonable distance. I feel like that can reach up and around the fender and attach my fitting. And there we have it. 10 minutes of our time, a few simple ingredients, and one homemade brake bleeder. Let's go see how it works. I could sit here and keep this pumped up, but that's not why I installed our tire valve. I'm actually just gonna hook it up to my little portable air compressor. You could use a regular air compressor or even a bicycle pump, but I guess this is kind of a bicycle pump to begin with. I'm gonna set it to, I don't know, 10 PSI? So just run your pump until you don't see any bubbles, fresh fluid coming out, and Bob's your uncle. Actually, Bob's not my uncle, but there you have it. The homemade brake bleeder recipe. Now I just have to do the other three wheels and put the pedal back in and clean up the huge puddle of brake fluid that is leaking all over my garage. Tune in next time when we bake, I don't know, a different tool. And that recipe is a brake brake bleeder. And there we have it, the homemader, homemader. And that recipe is a brake bleeding kit set device. And there we have it, the homemade brake 